If you would like to learn how to make cake pops, you do not want to skip this video. This is seriously the most perfect cake pop dough. You get the perfect consistency every single time and you don't need frosting. You're going to start off with three eggs, half a cup of salted butter. You're going to melt that. Then you're going to need two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of vanilla. I use the Mexican kind and one cup of milk. Make sure that your ingredients are at room temperature. Betty Crocker cake mix is the one that has worked the best for me. Then we're gonna add one tablespoon of sour cream. That's what's gonna keep the cake moist and we're not gonna need frosting. Then we're gonna mix everything in a medium speed. If you guys have a KitchenAid, I really recommend these whisk wipers because it removes all the batter so you waste less and it also acts as a spatula at the end so you can just wipe all the batter off. I'll link it on my Amazon, but now you're gonna bake your cake for 35 minutes at 350 and make sure that you cover the cake for at least 10 minutes after it comes out to lock in the moisture. And now I like to cut off the crust. You don't have to, I just feel like it looks better, um, more uniform. Now using a paddle attachment, you're gonna mix. I start at a two, then I go to a four, then I go back down to a two. Uh, make sure that everything is mixed. I didn't wanna cut anything out, just so you guys see that it gets to the perfect cake pop consistency. Now right now it's too soft. You're not gonna be able to do anything with it. So just set it aside, make sure that it's covered. And then once it gets to room temperature, you can put it in the fridge so it hardens and it's easier to work with. Your cake pop dough is the most important thing when making cake pop, so make sure you save the video.